people and I said, you know what, it's time again. It's that time. It's looking like Christmas again. Mm. It's looking like Christmas, just like in January, just like in June, just like in March, April, May. So it's Christmas for me because everything's a gift, you know, and it was time for me to receive my gifts again. Mm -hmm. And um, I said, well, I'm dropping this now, like as a gift to everybody else and a gift to me as well, you know, just to like put out there from material wise and to make some money. Mm -hmm. Like we got to get a bag and we got to have fun and sound good doing it and put this good music out there that people can enjoy. Do you think because of um, Cardi B becoming a stripper and um, she finds success in music that every stripper want to become like a rapper? Actually, no, I think they've been wanting to do that before. Yeah. <laughs> before her, bitches has been on it. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just that she just was one of the ones that she was too. She just popped it off quicker. Mm-hmm. Not everyone with that. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and she didn't have to go through all the extra dumb, dragged out shit that I had to do to get her name famous. I drugged the fuck out of my shit before my name was really spicy. Like, yo, yo, that's spicy. Before people was really like, yo, that's spicy. Can't like, before that, like, I drug it out, boy. I had to be people makeup artists first. I had a man. I did some jobs, okay. And it's entertaining here, okay. Before I, at least it was like, okay, crazy loud ass Instagram stripper, mm -hmm. crazy loud ass Instagram stripper with a couple jokes, led to love and hip hop, love and hip hop, boom. Little music, self pick some of the stuff up, caught, caught the golden diamond dick, sit, set it up. Because hmm. I was trying to go for the other me go. Let me tell you what happened with that. Okay. Let me tell you, because let me sit down for this. Tell you what happened with the other me go. Because I was trying to get the other one. You know the last one with the lazy eye? Because you know, I always, I be liking the nigga that look a little bit slow. I can't lie to you. Like, that's just a turn on. Nigga got a little cock eye, little dreamy eye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nigga got like a little one that's a little lower than the other one. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nigga might be missing a little teeth on the side or some shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Nigga might got a hand that just never goes straight again. Like, I'm down with that. I give a nigga a hug and all that shit. Come here, baby. Start rubbing that shit for the nigga everything. All that. I like that shit. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So, did that nigga turn me on because I realized, so wait, is he a little cock? Cock eye, he was a little cock eye. So I was like, "Oh, I like that one on um, takeoff, right?" Takeoff. So oh, oh, yeah, yeah. So then I realized that you know, like I was pursuing him, like I would put him as my WCW and everything, okay, like on my page and everything, and um, like I was just on him so hard, I just knew I was gonna get flued out, like you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying, like to go, but like um. I don't know. Like I found out down the line, cause I was I was, I was on him, cause I had a real big crush, like a real big bad badass crush on him and on um, XXX Tentacio. Mm. Bad crushes on the two niggas. It was bad. You know, I mean, it wasn't as bad as the, the, the crush that I had on Tiger, like or whatever. You know what I'm saying? How like, bad were the crushes? Huh? Like how bad? Like give me an example. Nah, no, it was it was that like the worst crush that I ever had was on um ex Natasha. So when he died, I took it pretty hard or whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. I took it hard. I even tried to channel him like through the dead. I did a, a video like you know trying to talk to him like and channel his spirit. You know what I'm saying? I didn't put it out because I've been ashamed to put it out because I don't want people to laugh at me or clown me. Mm -hmm. But I, I made a video, you know, what's on my camera, and I was trying to communicate. I I, I created a device that would allow me to like try to talk to him from the dead because everybody else was talking to him. You easy board? He didn't talk to me. No, it was like a toaster oven with a Simon Says Squeegee with two balloons. Well, it's it's hard to explain. You would see, it's like all set up. I put these things together, like I, you know, and like you know, it's like like a, a, a transfer energy machine that I created myself. Mm -hmm. And I was trying to like read it through there, but you know, I mean, it wasn't as successful as I wanted to be. But I was very, very, very. I had a really bad, disgusting, unhealthy crush on my succession. Mm. I had like some vibrators that I have that you know I made and drew to look like him and shit. Like this is this is it was bad. It's all bad. But um, <clears throat> again, I had to tell myself how old they were. Mm. I said spicy, no, because for some reason I always had that look. Like I like I don't know like older men never really took me serious. Like so like the guys that be like taking me serious be like mad yo they be like mm -hmm. twenty like I love you yo like and I be like fuck out of here you crazy like I'm gonna be thirty like why would you be like <laughs> you know what I'm saying like what are you talking about like 
Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I never really understood that. But, like, when I found out, like, you know, take off, that's what happened when I'm here from there. I found out his age, and I was like, what, 23, 22? Oh, now I'm off this. Like, he's 23. He's 23 now. Oh, shit. Yeah. But I had a bad question on him because his, you know, his little flat, his flash flood disability. I was looking like, ooh, okay. Well, it is what it is. 